Hello, in this training video for the Lucy Occultation Project, I am going to walk you through a typical observing session with SharpCap, starting it up, using it. I won't be able to show you actual star fields for this training video, but you'll get a sense for the flow of the normal steps. Don't worry, it's pretty easy. We start by opening up SharpCap. When it opens, it should automatically connect to your camera and bring you to a screen that looks like this. It's good to see the GPS status information, but the usual thing to do is to turn it off at this point. You might have need for it later, but uh, for taking data, you don't need to have this screen up. Notice that it's loaded the AUK profile and it's taking data couple of things that you might find useful when you are aligning the telescope. You can put up a reticle overlay. This will give you a pointing a place to put your star when you're doing the alignments during the setup. You don't always have to have this on. You can just toggle it to different reticles or turn it off by just clicking the button here. Under Zoom, I recommend that you leave this set at Auto most of the time, if not always. You can zoom in on regions of the, the screen, but watch out because you can forget that you've done this and you're only seeing a tiny piece of the field of view now here. But if you leave it on Auto, it's showing you the entire image. And the focus assistant is a pretty handy tool here. I kind of like the multi-star full with half max measurement. You can use that when you have a number of stars on the image and you get the display stretch set appropriately and it will find the stars and will give you a measurement of full with half max. A lot of times though you can just do it visually off of the screen. So it's time to take data. You're using the OCK profile. You're going to use a 500 millisecond exposure. Once you know the parameters are set, I recommend collapsing all of these displays so that you always have the display histogram stretch. If you want to enhance the screen, all you have to do is click this little lightning bolt kind of thing here. You click that, it'll change the stretch and you should be able to see all your stars. You can actually click this anytime you like, even during data collection. That's pretty safe. Um, but I don't recommend playing with any of the other controls or doing anything with this program other than watching the screen when you're taking data. Okay, so you're ready to take data. You simply go to Start Capture, click that button, and then you can either set the number of frames that you want to collect or the time limit. For a typical Lucy occultation, I believe we are going to use 10 minutes. So you can set 10 minutes here, the time limit, and then you say start. And that begins data collection. It's that simple. It will remit the capture button here will remember the last setting that you used. So if you're always taking 10 minute videos, then that's what it will take. But you will in fact end up changing this from time to time. Now a few things that are happening here while it's running. Notice here's the frame count increasing one for every frame. And it's also telling you how many are dropped. This is a very important number to keep an eye on. It should always be zero if and if you've got everything set up correctly, that will be true. There's no reason that it should be anything other than zero, certainly for a half second exposure. And it's also telling you how many frames per second that it's taking. This will be another key. You're expecting two frames per second, roughly. That number 
um, never ex exactly two frames per second, but it's it's at the least the right ballpark. If it was saying one or 0.5, then you know you have a problem. The other items on here that you can see, it's showing you what the cooler power is running at, what the temperature of the camera is running at, and what your target. This all looks fine. Here you see the GPS status. Here with this test, test setup indoors, I'm not getting a full lock on it. Normally you're expecting to see GPS lock here under this. If you see something like this, that means that you have a problem with your GPS antenna. Perhaps it's not in a good location to see the sky, or maybe there's something wrong with the cable and you should check that. But you should do that well before you start ta taking data. And then finally, on the right-hand side, it says, how long do you have left in the video that you're trying to collect? And here, we've been running for about two minutes, and you see it says, oh, there's eight minutes left. And it's telling you roughly what the UT time is for when the data will be completed. Now, we don't have to let this run the whole way. And in fact, I'm going to stop it early for this video just uh, so that we don't take so many Im blank images. And you can stop it at any time with pressing this stop capture. Of course, you don't really want to be doing this when you're taking occultation data. But if you're just doing test observations, that's, there's no harm in doing this. So stop capture. Now it pops up a little banner here. And you have to watch this pretty fast because it will disappear after about 10 or 15 seconds. Take note of the it's got the date and the time and it is this time as you see here 17 underscore 48 underscore 34 this string tells me what directory you wrote your data to and this is the number that gets recorded on your log sheet it's very helpful to me if you record that exact string that happens to be the start time but it actually is the name of the directory that I need to look at for collecting data and that's it for how to take data on occultation or practice nights.